See what you need to see. Right. First, let me apologize for not telling you about this sooner. Oh, don't worry about it, buddy. My brother and I had a huge fight back on Earth. The Kristoffs are a military family. Fry, our father, his father, his father. But I took after my late mother. I wanted to be an engineer. And though we were different, we were all still close. But that all changed when it came time to board the White Whale. My father was the only one of us who didn't get a spot. He stayed behind on Earth. Fry couldn't see how someone with his experience and rank could be denied. And he raised holy hell about it. See that Fry must have really loved his father. Or scoff and mocked Fry for his daddy issues. Or query, that's why his father wasn't selected for the Earth Life Colonization Project. That is kind of odd. If, if it was between uh, Fog, Fry, and his father's father, how come he of all people weren't, wasn't uh, selected? I know, it seems strange, but... Anyway, Fry had it wrong. Still does, I assume. Unlike him, I accepted the truth immediately. I had no objection to leaving our father behind. Ouch! Because that was his choice, you see? And I wanted to respect his wishes. Ah, I see. He said an old man like him had no place taking someone else's spot. All his life he'd sacrificed himself to keep others safe. This was no different. Except that it meant we'd never meet again. But Fry wouldn't hear it. He refused to listen to me or Dad. He's been bitter and distant ever since. Not that you understand how he must have felt or sympathized. Tell Fog that you must know how hard it must have been for him. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing, but I do kind of have a side with Fry on this one. I mean, I mean it, it wouldn't be exactly cool if your father just up and right said goodbye to you as a kid. Yes, it was. Thank you. I want us to be close again. I'm hoping that if I keep pushing myself as a blade, I can at least speak to Fry as a peer. Then maybe he'll finally listen. Anyway, I really appreciate your help in all this. And thus is a great divide. And something tells me we got another mission coming up very, very soon with these two. He successfully completed the mission, and also learned that Fry is Fog's brother. You don't say. They aren't on the best terms currently, but hopefully, they can work it out. Hopefully. Oh, and learned the dual gun art sky high. I guess it's just me. But that's actually pretty interesting, and... Oh! Hey, Nagi. I guess now I know where to find you, uh, later on. Oh, sorry, got off track there. Uh, but yeah. So my assumption was actually correct. I don't know how, but it pops in my head. Fry... Having... Uh, or, not Fry. Uh, Fog mentioned him being, uh... Equal to his brother or something along those lines. And Fry not being available for the mission... Really? It all made sense. It actually all made sense. Man. Maybe I am capable of being a theorist. Thanks, Mad Pat. Uh, but anyway, th th that's just my uh, my theory, and not even that good of one. But that's all taken care of. We got two missions down. Uh, what, what else is there? Ah, yes. Uh, I believe a new party member mission. All the way back at the commercial district. We're gonna head on over to the Central Melville Street as per usual, and this one. Well, like the other ones, it's kind of, uh, underleveled, to say the least. What I'm curious is, who is this guy we're actually going to be recruiting? Because the mission that we have for him slash her, is found at the very, is in this very alley-like area. Oh, and, uh, apparently we can only have three members. Okay, well, Fog, it was great meet getting to, uh, 
you know, talk with you again, but I gotta uh, let you go for the time being. But uh, sure enough, Red Knight is kaput. <sighs> I will not get over that, I seriously won't. Let's do this again. Meeting Yell. Hey, you. I've been looking for you. Come here a minute. I got something you're about to do for me. Excuse me? Agree to as the man says, or beg off. Say that you have to go wash your hair. Oh, snap. I'm calling him out. Wash your... Hey, are you trying to clown me? Now shut up and do as you're told, and this'll go easy. Buddy? Here, Hush. I picked out a mission or three for you. No thanks needed. Run along and handle them. Should be a cakewalk. Real easy street. Can I punch this guy, please? Rebuff, tell him to get lost, or agree to say all you'll do them. I rebuff to you, sir. You're a tough potato, aren't you? I like tough potatoes. So don't make me mash you, potato. Ooh, I'm so scared! I'll throw the details to your comm device. Get it done, and get back to me. Capiche? Dude, flip off! Seriously. Well then, meeting Elf, you're pressed into taking on some missions by a man named Yelv. A bit of a jerkwad at that. Uh, they seem like relatively straightforward ta tasks. Hopefully it won't take too long. Complete missions A, B, and C. I like how it's just that. Mission A. A uh, scavenging mission taken on by Elf from Blade HQ. Gather three of those. That's our thing. I don't need it set that as a target navigation point. Number two, defeat two young Syndiculas in Primordia. I can do that one. Doesn't seem like that bit, bit, that bit of an issue. And defeat five metal Blottas in Primordia. I'll say that one last. The Syndiculas Easy interest enough. me. Yeah. Oh, and don't take too long, or you and me will have problems. Time to prove you ain't all show. And you better impress. I will smash your head in, potato. I actually will. Also, mission complete. Great. Anyway, I'm already hating this guy, even more so than HB so far, because this guy actually seems like a bit of a jerk. At least HB was just comparing us, uh, when we first met him, about, you know, uh, how he was, you know, supremely better and more fit to do the mission. This guy's just flout saying, oh hey, you know what, I'm the boss of you, you do this mission and no one gets hurt, say? Yes, yeah, this, this guy seriously needs to die, he, he needs to. More so than... Uh, HB, more so than the monk. This guy really grinds my gears. But I digress. Now, where are these Syndiculas? Oh, there you are. Oh, hi. I can see why I call young Syndiculas. Look at these things. They're only, what? They're level 16 and very tiny. It's kind of sad when you think about it. They're relatively easy to beat. Ow! What the heck? Hey! You just sent me flying! Excuse me, buddy! Oh! -ho. He's firing his lasers? I did not know he was, a, he was a neon cat. At heart. There goes one. Get all that stuff. Now for enemy number two. Oh, also... Apparently, there's uh, a bunch of these over here, which I will fight. So I'll see, I thought those were the med- I, For saying that, I thought those were the Blottas, for whatever reason. Ah, I see how that is. How do that works? And done. There goes mission B. And now for mission C, of all things. Mission C set. Where's this one? A little farther down. More specifically at F and Scythe 104. So we'll head on over there. Then just a pace walk over to the west.
Just swim! Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we sw do? We swim around the sea, or whatever this is, a stream or a river, however you want to call it. Oh, and hey, look, a site I have not even unearthed yet, or so I thought. Oh, it's above me, I think. That makes a little more sense. Wait, what? Oh, there you go. Did you turn there for a second? Alright, metal blottas. Where are some metal blottas? Oh, here we go. I can see why they're called metal blottas. They are, look like a freaking cluster thing. Uh, those things from those ant Pokemon from uh, Generation 5. Uh, the Durant. They kind of remind me of Durant in a way. You know, completely silver, the reddish eyes. I don't know, they just give me that kind of vibe. Any more around here? Ah, here we go. Get them both in the fight. Just launch them into the air, uh, sky high. And then there remained one. I see Scipios. I did not see any bugs though. Uh, that's odd. And those are Azeculas, so that they are definitely not what I was going after. Oh, but those, on the other hand, are the metals. Ultra Slash. First in, first to win. Attack the Shadow Strike. Here's a good spot. And mission done. Object is complete. And now we're just gonna talk to y'all. Now that our job here is done. So if I wanna finish this thing off, you yeah, might as well. Maybe we'll draw some drop something later on. That we need. Let's keep it up. That's what we got as a caddy insect wing. So maybe I was mistaken. But hey, it's worth it. I think it is. Now to talk to Mashed Potato. And yes, I'm making that his official nickname. He is Mashed Potato in my eyes. Because he keeps calling us a freaking potato and he'll smash us in if we don't do what he says. Therefore, I'm going to smash his head in once I'm done with him. And because I don't have much of a spine, we have to take on these missions anyway. And like I said before, at least with HB. These missions that were associated to him were a matter of competition. This guy's out right trying to say he's the boss, when he definitely is not. If anything, I wouldn't get to smash his head into the ground. I really wouldn't. How them jobs I gave you coming along, superstar? Finished. All right, all right. Looks like they're done. You have a hard time or what? Confirm, say they were a nightmare or deny, say that they were pathetically easy. Yeah? I picked nasty ones on purpose so I could test your metal. Why? But hey, guess you're a real big shot. Well, you pass. Congrats. As of today, you're partners with the legendary Yell. No! You've been deemed worthy of tackling reclaimer missions by my side. Denied! So sniff out your skills first. Yeah, it's quite the honor. But there are a whole pile of candidates before you. Right, enough yapping. Let's say we christen this new partnership with an assignment. 
Next stop, Mission Control. Let's hope they got something fun. And not even a single response. We have yelled with blast fencers. Hmm. I don't recognize that one, or maybe one of our allies had it before. Huh? Head to the Blade Concourse with Yelv. Okay, so the whole point of this was because he wanted a new partner. Um... Okay, he could have said that? Also, he went through many candidates. How many poor guys had to suffer through this guy? Just to know that, oh hey, I was testing you, but it doesn't matter anyway, maybe because... Yeah, I don't want you partnering up with me. I mean, seriously. This guy is picky as all heck. Hey. Alright, let's see what we got here. Useless. Crap. Lame. Vicious indigent slays three dozen blades. <laughs> Sounds fun. What else? Gather yeah, ten straw lennies. <laughs> That's kids' work. An easy affinity! Or cover fallen fragments of the whale. Classic reclaimer gig there. Well, Bard, getting any chuckles here? Dude, this is this is about as funny as watching someone chop their arm off. And sorry I got grim there, but. Choose to fight the indigen, choose to gather the straw lennies, or claim the white whale parts. Hmm. Fighting an indigen, which we're probably over level, but still, gather straw lennies, that would be kind of boring, actually, even if we do already have them. Or claim the white whale parts. It's definitely not going to be the white hold, or the life hold. I say hunt. Shut up. I knew I was right about you. I said shut up. Just yeah, just shut up. Probably kick this partnership off with something a little bit more reclaimery. Really? Us down for grabbing white whale bits on the beach. Okay then. Looks like nobody's been there yet. Just showed up on Frontier Nav and everything. Sounds like a perfect job for the new reclaimer hotshots, huh? Uh-huh. Move on part. Wanna see those feet of yours fly. As you wish. So we're doing this regardless, really just saying that Boing gets affinity with him. Which, I'm guessing unless you want to do all the affinity missions with him, is kind of pointless. Seriously though, is there anyone that actually likes this guy? Because, yeah, this guy just ugh, annoys me so much if I have not uh, stressed that out enough. I don't want anything to do with him. I really don't. <laughs> then up. Uh... Oh, hey, we got ourselves some vermilion indici incilia thingies. Insidia, that's what they are. Although not so vermilion. Oh hell. This place is crawling with nasty critters. You surprised? Are you ready to go? Cause school is about to be in session. Time to teach these indigens who owns this little piece of Mira. Let's get this over with already. Nod, tell y'all that you're ready to kick some butt or caution, suggest so hanging back and observing your enemy. What level of mission was this again? Let's see, uh, what level was it? Um, da, 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 da. Oh, that's right, level 14. Caution has literally got thrown out the window since whenever this mission was a thing. Or whenever we got higher than it. I don't know. I'm ready to kick some butt. Counting on you, Bard. Man, this is just like when he and I used to hit the field. Good times. He? Now let's get in there and say hello to the locals. The Hermit in Cynthia. How fitting. Because they seem to only show up this one time. And possibly never again. Come on. That's it. The best part is, no other enemies to interfere in this. 
hopefully. I'm looking at you, long lives. You better not try anything funny. And Donzies. Pathetic. And now for this. Give him the knock credits. <laughs>